In this episode of Movavi Ideas, you will learn several cinematography techniques regarding lighting, regarding camera movement and camera angles, which you can repeat right now using stuff you already have at home. Hi, my name is Arthur, this is the Movavi vlog and the first technique is dolly zoom. It is also called Zolly or the Hitchcock effect or the push-pull effect, whatever it's called, but the point is the space distortion. This is very often used in cinema to create such a feeling of unreal, something strange is happening and the effect highlights this emotion. And now we'll see how to create this effect right in camera and in post. Based on the push-pull name, it immediately becomes clear. We push the camera forwards or backwards and simultaneously pull the focal length ring. That means, yes, it can be done only with a zoom lens. And as we know, wide-angle lenses stretch space and everything seems farther apart, when telephoto lenses, on the contrary, compress space and objects seem closer to each other than they really are. So when we move towards a person without changing the size of his head in the shot, we distort the space and proportions including that person and this weird distortion effect is happening. The movement of the camera back and forth can be done both handheld and with the help of a stabilizer or a slider, as you wish. And changing the focal length is possible either with fingers or with the help of a special focus system which is separately mounted somewhere, for example on a stabilizer, we remotely twist the ring and change the focal length. But what if you don't have all this stuff? Well, there's a second way in post. Film it simply with the camera's smoothly move into a person or away from him, then bring this shot into Movavi Video Editor, go to the Old Tools section, Animation, Advanced, click Add Keyframe, put one at the beginning and the other at the very end. Click on one of the keyframes two times and stretch this picture so that the size of the head matches the final size of the head. As a result, we've created the effect completely in post. Yes, we don't get this real distortion, but it is still a solution if you cannot make it in camera. By adding a smooth movement of the camera you really make your video look more professional, but to make a smooth movement you need to buy equipment, a slider, a stabilizer, it costs money. But fortunately there are alternatives that will help you solve this problem on a budget. The first is the most obvious but also the most practical in my opinion, a rolling chair. Sit down, take the camera and ask the second person to push you softly and just film your shot, it gets very smooth. Or instead of sitting in this chair yourself, take a tripod and put the tripod on the chair. Now you can control the movement of this chair on your own. You can do moves in, passing by, some dolly movements. The results are very smooth, but only if the surface is smooth. Any kind of bump kicks the camera and everything immediately starts to shake. But at home, in most cases, it works very well. Hence the second way comes to use a wheelchair. The wheelchair is able to neutralize small bumps and less vibrations go to the camera. And a wheelchair is good for filming outside on a not so smooth surface. If you have a smooth surface, surface in front of you, you can also use a cardboard. You take a large piece of cardboard, throw it on the floor, put a tripod on it and also take something like a mop to push the whole thing. And the result is quite smooth. And you can also cut out a small piece of cardboard, put it on the table and move the camera that way. You can even make long enough movements without any noticeable vibration. Besides, you can use not only cardboard, you can use some magazine, newspaper or toilet paper, <laughs> what you like most. The tripod can be used not only for static shots, you can slide one leg in, two on the left and by pushing the camera forwards or backwards on two legs, same time supporting the tripod head, you can create a slider effect or even a crane effect. We we'll lengthen the legs, lift them up and get an interesting movement. Creating quality YouTube videos isn't always about expensive software and effects. Movavi Video Suite 2022, the all-purpose effects bundle and the fresh mint pack were designed to help you create engaging videos that get even more views and are as good as popular creators' content. Movavi Video Suite is an intuitive platform that combines video editing, screen recording and file converting tools with a convenient preset system in one place. And the coolest thing about Video Suite is its accessibility. It doesn't require the latest top-of-the-line computer to run smoothly, the subscription format allows you to get free programs value for the price of one app, and you also get all updates and new features that will be released over the next 12 months. The all-purpose effects bundle includes a huge collection of effects that will fit almost any video theme, and the fresh mint pack lets you create a consistent look for your YouTube videos. Once installed, the effects 
effects will be built right into the video editor, so you can add them to your project and adjust them in a few clicks. Black Friday is in a full swing, so our team is offering a 50% discount on Movavi Video Suite 2022 and both sets of effects. This is the biggest discount of the year. The deal is time limited, so don't miss your chance and click on the link right here. And there are two more special offers to check out on the official Movavi Vlog webpage. A coupon for getting 30% off Movavi Unlimited and a 45% discount on Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022. And free effect sets for your YouTube channel. Hit the link below to learn more. As we know, lighting in the video greatly affects the final result, and most commonly, bad lighting reveals an amateur video. And you need not only to buy all this lighting equipment, you also need to know how to use them, modify this light according to some rules. For such purposes, you can buy professional light modifiers, but if you have a limited budget, it can be expensive. So let's take a look at budget alternatives to such modifiers. The most practical and affordable option, in my opinion, is bed clothing, or to be more precise, an ordinary white sheet. It can be used both for diffusing or for reflecting the light. For example, you shoot a gloomy scene with one light source, two characters are sitting at a black table. In this case, you will see high contrast on the face. But you can take this white sheet, throw it on this table, and the light will be reflected from the table to the face, and you will fill this black shadows, lowering the contrast of the image. Or hang this sheet somewhere and reflect the light from it. The reflected light is always very soft, and therefore the picture looks very nice. The same can be done from the other side, diffusing the light. You can also use a shower curtain, but I would not use it to reflect the light, but to diffuse the light. The final result will be slightly different in comparison with the result we get from the white sheet. Reflecting the light can also be done with the help of other flat white surfaces. For example, white paper, white cardboard, some piece of wood painted white, we found this white foam panel. As it's perfectly white, the reflection turns out to be very bright, but at the same time diffused. If you want to make the reflection less diffused and sharper, you can use some kind of a reflective surface. We found this kind of insulation for underfloor heating. We also hang it on something and reflect like the light. It often happens that you don't have time to take anything with you at all. You only have the walls, the light, and the person you need to film. And we can use these walls for our benefit. Just put the light close to the wall or ceiling, and the diffuse light might be enough to film the scene. If you don't have an RGB light or color gels, you can use colored clothes. Take a t-shirt, hang it somewhere, and reflect the light from it. You will be surprised with the result you get this way. Being creative, you can achieve really cool results, and eventually it is not about how you got the result, but the result itself. 180 degree rule may seem a little confusing for beginners, and besides, it's a rule, and any rule in this art can be broken, if you know how to break it. So let's figure it out. Here is the simplest example. Two people are talking to each other, and what is the point of the 180 degree rule? You should draw a line through these two characters, and the camera should always be on one side of this line. And here is why. Let's take the classic free angle dialogue scene. One is the wide angle, where we see two characters talking to each other, the second is close-up of one character, and the third is close-up of another character. And when we are on the same side of this line all the time, we clearly understand where they are in space, and this does not confuse us. But if, for example, we take a wide shot from one side, and the close-ups from the other side of the line. It will seem that they jumped somewhere in space because initially we saw one background and then we see a different background on the close-ups and we are confused. But let's take a look at only the close-ups. And let's say in one close-up the camera is on one side of the line and in other on the other side of the line. It will feel like the characters are looking in the same direction. Therefore, only when the camera is on the one side of the line, we clearly understand the space and understand that they are looking at each other. Or for example, some car drives away from the house and goes from right to left in the shot. Then the next shot where it also goes from right to left and so on. When we see the car going from right to left, it means that it's leaving the house. When we see the shot where the car is driving from left to right, we immediately understand that it's driving back to the house. That way, viewer visually understands what is happening in the scene. If this is broken, you will simply confuse the viewer. As I said, this rule can be broken and it is often broken in movies, usually in action scenes where something is constantly happening and a lot of people interact with each other, or when camera movement is 
is added. If we add a moving camera, at some point the camera may come from one shoulder to another and the camera position shifts after we've moved. To keep it simple, just remember that you should not confuse the viewer. As long as you understand where the characters are in space, how and where they move, you are not breaking anything. Of course, you need to know this rule in order to understand what you're working with. Well, so if you like this Movavi Ideas episodes, you can like this video and check out these two videos. They will also be very helpful to you and see you in the next video.